Hi everyone, this is Mehmood Sheikh and welcome to my SQL tutorial series. In our last video, we learned arithmetic operators. And in this video, we will be going to learn comparison operators. There are different types of comparison operators uh, for comparing two operands and giving the result. Okay, so comparison operators like uh, equal operator, not equal operator, and then less than operator, greater than operator, between operator, not between operator, and then in operator. Okay. So in this video, we will be going to learn or discuss how each and every comparison operator is going to perform um, when you use these operators with numbers. Okay, so comparison operators uh, takes two values and compare them and based on the comparison, it will return you the result in the form of 0 or 1. If the, uh, if the values or the numbers, uh, do, uh, if those two values or those characters uh, which are comparing are equal then it will return a value of true which is 1 if both the operands are not equal uh, then it will return a value of 0 which is false okay so comparison operators evaluate uh, the, the two operands or characters or uh, words uh, if those two characters words or numbers gets matched uh, or equal then it will return a value as 1 which is true and if both the, those um, uh, two values or words or characters are not equal, then it will return a value of false, which is called as, which is zero. Okay, so uh, we'll discuss how uh, these uh, comparison operators uh, perform uh, uh, with the numbers, characters and uh, words. Okay, so let us start our discussion with the first comparison operator, which is equal operator. Okay, so equal operator here, you can see. Uh, Again, these uh, comparison operators are also used with the SELECT clause. Okay. Each comparison operator starts with the SELECT clause. And in uh, equal operator, we will be comparing two operands. Whether, whether it is uh, numbers, two numbers, or two characters, or two words. We will compare these two and uh, we will check whether these two numbers, two characters, or two words are equal. Then based on that uh, uh, evaluation, we will... Uh, return mysql will return the output okay so now let's first discuss our, uh, discuss with our first operator which is equal operator okay equal operator uh, i have written a statement as select 24 equals to 24 comma 25 equals to 24 okay so in these two statements here you can see since 24 is equals to 24 that means these two numbers are equal then that's why it will return a value of one Okay, so the result for this first uh, operation will be 1 and for this second one, since 25 is not equal to 24, 25 is greater than 24, that's why this equalness is not satisfied. That's why it will return uh, to 0, it will return a false value which is 0. Okay, so first statement will return 1 because this is uh, for this statement, entire statement is true. So 24 equals to 24, that's why it will return a value of 1. Now, 25 is not equal to 24, that's why it will return a value of 0, okay. So, now let's try to understand the same equal operator with words, okay. Uh, or I have entered the name here, um, I have written my name here. Select single quote and then Mahmood equal single quote Mahmood, okay. So, I am comparing two names, okay, which are similar. This, uh, these two names, uh, both these names are equal, that's why it will return a value of 1 okay it will first statement will return a value of one because it's true and in the second statement mahmood is equals to shape okay so these two names are not equal that's why it will return a value a value of false which is zero okay so this is all about equal operator equal operator compares uh, two operands two numbers or two words or names uh, and it check whether these two numbers characters or words are equal or not if they are equal, it will, it will return a true value, which is 1. If they are not equal, then they will return a value of 0, which is false. Now, let us discuss the second operator, which is not equals to. Not equals to uh, is denoted with this left uh, less than and greater than symbol, okay, which equals to this one, not equal. So, select, again, we have to start from the select clause, select 9 is not equals to 9, okay. Since here, you can see this is the symbol of not equals to. Here, I am comparing... Uh, here I am saying 9 is not equals to 9 which is false because 9 is equals to 9 
that's why it will return a value of 0 this condition is false that's why it will return a value of 0 and here 24 is not equals to 25 since 24 is not equals to 25 which is uh, true in this case that's why this condition will become true and it will return a value of 1 okay so now second one select m is not equals to m okay here m is equals to m that's why again this statement is also false uh, because we have taken not equals to but the uh, both these operands are same so since we have taken not equals to that's why it will return a value of 0 because this entire statement is false now and here you can see m is not equals to n which is true that's why it will return a value of 1 or true now let's discuss the greater than operator okay so greater than operator check uh, whether first operand is greater than second operator okay if the first operand first operand is greater than second operand then it will return a value of 1 otherwise it will return a value of false uh, which is 0 okay here you can see select 100 is greater than 15 which is true in this case that's why it will return a value of 1 which is true and 25 is greater than 35 which is false that's why it will return a value of 0 you will get a result as 0 for this and here 14 is greater than minus 14 which is true in this case that's why it will third statement will return a value of 1 okay now let's uh, discuss less than operator less than operator is exactly opposite to the greater than operator in less than operator what happens it will check two operands and uh, it will check whether first operand is less than the second operator or not if yes it will return a value of 1 which is true otherwise it will return a value of 0 which is false okay so here you can see select 15 is less than 10 since 15 is greater than 10 that's why this whole statement becomes false and it will return a value of 0 and minus 5 is less than 2 which is true because minus 5 is less than 2 that's why it will return a value of 0 no, sorry it will return a value of 1 and 10 is less than minus 5 which is false because 10 is greater than 5 that's why it will return a value of 0 which is false okay now let's between let's learn between operator okay so between operator uh, take a value um, uh, take a value from the user and it will match that value between a range okay between a range suppose you have uh, you are checking whether 100 is coming between 50 to 200 or not okay 100 is coming or come, comes within the range of 50 to 200 or not if yes since 100 is coming within the range of 50 to 200 uh, that's why it is uh, it will return a value of 1 which is true otherwise it will return a value of false 0 which is 0 okay, here you can see I have written a uh, query here select 200 okay select 200 between 50 and 100 okay what does this mean here you can see uh, you are uh, checking whether 200 whether 200 the number 200 is present between 50 to 100 50 50 to 100 okay see 200 is uh, you will not get 200 between the range of 50 to 100 to 100 because 100, 200 is above 100 you will not get 200 number number 200 between 50 to 100 that's why this whole statement will become false and you will get a value of 0 and here select a between a and z here i'm checking whether the alphabet small alphabet a is present between a and z which is true because it comes under a to z okay if i change it to let's say p okay since p comes under uh, a to z that's why it will return a value of 1 which is true okay now not between not between is exactly opposite to between here we will check whether a number is comes or uh, come if they come within a range of uh, a one, between the range of two numbers okay here you can see uh, select 24 not between 50 and 100 okay not between here we need to check for the not between but 24 is present 24 comes under between 50 to 100 that's why this will return a value of 0 which is false okay select p not between d and s okay since p comes under between d and s that's why this statement will also become false okay because p comes under d and s that's why it will return a value of 0 next we will learn uh, we will discuss the operator which is called as in operator in operator it will check for a number within a range of numbers okay if the number 
we are looking for is present between present inside that range then it will uh, return a true value otherwise it will return a false value like here you can see select 24 in 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay it will check whether this number 24 is available inside this range complete range which i have written inside the brackets since this 24 number is not present anywhere in this range that's why it will return a zero value which is false here you can see select mahmud in these number in these um, names okay i'm checking the name mahmud in this range of number names ajay raj and mahmud since the name that i'm looking for is present inside this range that's why it will return a one which is true uh, that means uh, that number or name is present inside the range okay so this is all about uh, comparison operators uh, the comparison operators always return a boolean value which is zero or one uh, if the condition gets satisfied then it will return a value of one otherwise it will return a value of zero which is false okay so i hope you understood uh, what are comparison operators and how they behave what uh, output uh, they return once um, if the condition gets satisfied and what uh, what uh, result it will return if the condition gets failed okay i hope you like this video i hope you get some useful information out of this video regarding uh, comparison operators and uh, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel i would just request you guys to first subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the bell icon and those who have subscribed to my channel and they forgot to click on the bell icon so i'll just uh, request them again to uh, subscribe the channel and then click on the bell icon if you have click on the bell icon then only you will be able to receive the updates for my upcoming videos okay so uh, i will see you guys in my uh, practical session in the same video immediately once i complete this theoretical session i will be executing all these commands in my SQL command prompt and you will see uh, how these each and every operator uh, comparison operator is going to behave once you run on uh, uh, once you run them on my SQL command prompt okay so i will see you guys in my practical session and thanks for watching